I am aware the internet historian has released a new video. You can tell I went outside, check my hair out. Um, <laughs> it was so small earlier. Jesus, uh, I am aware, okay? But Skidden has been sick right before it dropped. I'm pretty sure he made my wife sick with excitement for the video because literally two days after it dropped, we were about to shoot vids, my wife got a sinus infection. And it's pretty bad. As you can tell, the video has been out from Internet Historian. It's been about seven or eight days now. And um, Skitten has just barely been able to get outside today. So definitely spent a lot of time with her. I haven't been able to spend a lot of time with her. She had to wait till she got the COVID test back to make sure it wasn't that. Confirmed the sinus infection and all that. So we'll be back to regularly shooting videos soon, but it's hard to keep up with everything, you know, with her not feeling as well. So um, we're gonna get back into regularly releasing videos now. You already know uh, how it is in April, man. We start to pick it up and uh, yeah, we're gonna be dropping like a ton of vids now. So the story behind America's most offensive anime dub. Let's get into it. I'm gonna be spam content spamming content the next week let me know um some other stuff you guys want to see we'll do a couple more uh back rooms vids you guys are asking for a couple more of those we'll try it out i want to try some entities so i don't mind doing that uh there's a couple funny anime vids and stuff of course tier zoo all the big three that we got to do so uh tier zoo internet historian cj the champ now is on that list daily dose of internet got to get into those um all right let's do it eons ago in a land far more based and discriminatory. There existed an anime that millions of young Japanese children were excited for. It was an adaptation of a classic series that was being produced by the team behind Naruto, Bleach, and more. But upon release, tragedy had struck. The anime was garbage. The whole thing was a catastrophe. So the Japanese heads behind the show grew desperate. They scrambled to turn a profit of the show. If only... We could sell it to America. They tried selling off the show to all the American distributors. However, the show is so bad, no one buys it. They approached Genion, eh. Central Park Media, eh. ADV, eh. ADV, eh. and by the third try, negotiations had a breakthrough. All right, we'll sell it to you guys, and you can do whatever you want with the dub. You say it what now? You guys can do whatever you want with the dub. Change what people say. Whatever. I want to make fun of Mexicans. <laughs> I said, I want to make fun of Mexicans, Persians, gays, blacks, no. Asians, especially Asians. Matter of fact, I've been waiting for someone to say something like this. Get your pen out. What the Sold. As long as they didn't change the names of the characters or the method that they kill ghosts, ADV what? could do anything they wanted, leading to perhaps the <laughs> earliest example of an abridged series. It was edgy, oh unscripted, nonsense, but most of all, it was funny. No, oh, perfect. It's in Japanese. Jing chao no ning tao. <laughs> An official ink. <laughs> it's funny now because of how utterly ignorant that English is. dub of this nature is something we'll probably never see again. That's right. what everybody believes about the show, but it might all be bull spread through a maze of misunderstandings. Stephen Foster at the time was the ADR director of ADV. They basically convert Japanese script into another language. The key right. here is that Stephen is known for fucking around with this process. <laughs> Mekazawa worries about you more than anybody else. <laughs> you don't give this man unlimited freedom. They did. And Steven went to work on the script. Ghost Story's entire script basically didn't exist. Steven just made shit up. Like a boss, that's how I do my scripts. Notice how I don't cite sources? Then came rolling in the voice actors, and they had some real heat entering the studio. Vic Mignona, Greg Ayers, I hate that guy's voice, Monica Rial, this lady, this lady, Chris Patton, the roster was- Wait, whoa, whoa, run it back, run it back. Ayers, I hate that guy's voice. Is that Monica Claymore Rial, reference this I lady. just saw? That's Claymore? Wait, the lady who does the lady in Claymore also plays the- For One Piece and for Full Metal Alchemist and for Akame Ga Kim? Oh my god! This lady. Nami-san! Dude, look at that! Chris Penn. Oh yeah, that's heat! The roster was stacked, so with all this talent, the process for making dubs Who's evolved. There was a screen that they would read with the script, but here's where the magic happened. Whoever came to the studio first would do or say whatever they wanted, and the rest of the team had to work with it. No, but you don't look so good. Run! She's a ghost and a bitch! Everyone wanted to talk each other and be funnier than the last. This unique process completely overhauled the characters, the plot, everything, and it somehow worked. Monica's character, originally a fearless psychic, well, she had a questionable past and then turned to Jesus. Before I met Jesus, I was real. 
really f***ed up. No. <laughs> and a slut. It's just like real life. They gave the cute little brother a learning disability. That is so awesome. You'll risk your own life to save your little ret brother. The nerd character became a frugal Jew stereotype, and the voice actors would commit to these bits so hard. But I can talk about this all day. Who cares? Let's actually watch the... Please. Please. Ghost Stories is centered around six main characters, but the main main one is named Satsuki. Satsuki and her brother are moving into their dead mom's old neighborhood. It starts off extremely tame. She meets a bunch of neighborhood kids stumbling into an abandoned school facility. But this is a haunted story after all. Thanks to the voice actors, things finally get scary. You're such brave, strong, handsome men. Have you accepted Jesus as your personal savior? <gasps> no, I'm Jewish. <laughs> I just want to oh my god, I'm so them. frightened. Oh yeah, and the statue moves so they I'm all freak Jewish. out or whatever. What then all mean? the characters get tormented by haunted stuff. Talking dogs. Scissors. It's called ghost stories because every episode is a story about a different ghost. This time, Thank we you. face a Manajaku. He haunts people. Just because. But it turns out Satsuki might have the key to stopping him. Principles always look like lesbians. No, wrong key. Huh. Mom? <laughs> no. Satsuki's mom was a lesbian, I mean a ghost hunter of some sort, and all the ghosts sealed away years ago are escaping. Luckily, she left a book behind detailing how to seal them back up. So they do it, and the big scary ghost gets sealed inside their cat. That's pretty much how every episode plays out. A ghost appears, the team spends half the episode finding excuses for them to not immediately pull out her mother's diary and exercise it, seal the ghost, rinse and repeat. So you can easily see why the cast decided to change some stuff around. I'm sure you didn't notice, but Satsuki's mom isn't actually a lesbian in that Momoko met at a gay conversion camp. That was improv. Yeah. This part yeah. Have you accepted yeah. Jesus as your personal savior? was actually this. <laughs> While on the first episode they clearly tried to maintain rare? some of the original plot, each episode falls further into madness. Here's the first three minutes of episode the 9. She greases more palms than you know who. We need more weirdos like her in this school. She's like a Mexican doing all the jobs white people don't want. She has no <laughs> friends, but... The story about... <laughs> A girl Yo. missing her dead pet becomes Yo. a story about a girl f her rabbit. When he died, I was so sad that I would never hear that voice again. His laugh. <laughs> His funny little request. Touch me. His reprimand. Ew. Touch me harder. I had to bring it back to life! One episode, the dad gets his bitten off by a doll. Here's Ketchio ranting about how hot Raven from Teen Titans was. So obviously, this man isn't nearly as as they all say. Ghost stories can seem chaotic as a bystander, but a strange cohesion forms as you watch. The plot about Satsuki's mom being gay gets worked back into the plot as if it were all planned. The best improv does this stuff. Always Sunny in Philadelphia, Curb Your Enthusiasm, Call. Call. Uh, among others, you end up with yep. some really genuine elements. So many jokes call back to events that were happening at the time, like Hurricane Katrina, George Bush being evil. It does sometimes end up being the gex of anime. Someone call Canada. We need Alanis Morissette. The fuck is an Atlantis thermostat. <laughs> Dated references aside, the candor from the voice actors bleeds into the show. They talk like us normal people. One episode they actually said, the dollar store. I don't know why they feel the need to use generic names in TV shows. You'd be like, oh, the dollar president, dollar tree. No, bro, it's the dollar store. Look at this guy. He talks just like me. You stupid, selfish slut. The characters have me rolling, so before I talk about why this stuff is important, I want to... Thank you. My favorite episode is centered around a poor, severely mentally handicapped child, much like myself and Spongebob. Ketchiro gets convinced to join the track team to gain some confidence in himself. The issue this fucking is also this, this the is best so part of the episode. Every funny. single character is a terrible person. They're constantly putting this poor kid down while training him <laughs> in genius ways. Think of a big black man chasing you! <laughs> well, he's not racist. A scary ghost begins he running beside racist. Ketchiro, and suddenly, his time is two seconds faster. But everything isn't all good. The arrival of the ghost stirs up oh, all God. sorts of spooky misfortunes. And the worst out? part, the principal is considering canceling the sports festival because of it. You can't cancel the festival! One little retarded boy has his heart set on his thing! That's right! Wait, re well, swear! <laughs> Ketchiro begins bonding with the ghost. I really enjoyed running with you today. Don't you have any money for shoes? Did the Crips beat you up and take yours too? Yes, All you right. heard that correctly. All right. It is now canon that Ketchiro was beaten up by the Crips and had his shoes stolen. The ghost <laughs> reveals that he had a friend who ran track. He wasn't good, just like Ketchiro, but he gave it his all. And the poor kid was hit in a car accident before he could even compete. Elsewhere! Yeah. 
We find out that Ketchura's ghost friend is a goat that chops off little boy feet and keeps them, oh, and it'll happen okay. if Ketchura runs at the sports festival. Okay. So no one truly gives a shit. They don't give Ketchura a heads up or anything until the last moment. <laughs> when they get trapped, the ghost reveals his evil plot and heads right for Ketchura. Ketchura takes his last retarded little breaths and tells the ghost that he's going to win that race for his dead friend. And that was very touching to me for some reason, even though it probably wasn't supposed to be. I'm glad the episode could end on a good note. Aww. A car accident. Must have been hit by an old Chinaman. Oh yeah. The show <laughs> Yo, is- Oh, why are you so racist? It's casually. We, we put offensive in the title because it's not okay. Now shut up and laugh. Ghost stories will always have a legendary status in the anime community because there will never be something in this form again. No. It's terrifying to people born in 1999 and after. There's the F word. You're a f what a f <laughs> Oh my god! The R word. Stupid ghost made it rain. That's for t It doesn't matter if you and I or the majority of people watching this video think these jokes are funny and refined. Do you think these dork big shots will allow a rogue team to make completely unregulated dubs on their paychecks? Forget the corporations. No. Most famous people no. in general apologize for jokes just like these. Not because they actually feel bad, but because they want to remain the number one guy. Or their demographic is young teens that seek the satisfaction of drama but don't have the friend groups to actually satisfy that desire for the cognitive value for teens. This. On this topic, Monica Rial said, This show's whole purpose was to make everyone angry. We wanted to be equal opportunity offenders. To me, this demonstrates that there really is no malintent with the edgy humor. That's not too dissimilar with what I do in my own videos. You want everyone to laugh at each other's and themselves. I respect that style, Monica. Bitch. Whoa, 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 okay. Okay, I thought this was women's turn this week. Anyways, these what? <laughs> In doing my research, everyone's story was consistent. Ghost Stories was originally a terrible anime that no one wanted. After the hilarious dub, the anime started doing so well, the Japanese even took rights back to ride that wave of success. Monica Rial, Craig Ayers, Vic Mignogna, and Stephen Foster will all tell you this. <gasps> no. Not him. Anyone but that man. That was miserably horrible. Annie Mayer. Please don't keep perpetuating these falsehoods. Ghost stories did just fine in Japan. AV simply didn't have a lot of oversight from the Japanese IP holders. Do you have a source for that? Do you have a source for me being wrong? So I brushed it off <laughs> for a little while, and I encountered this idea again and again. Maybe almost every YouTube video is wrong about this whole thing. Here's the other side. Ghost Stories was actually a classic novel series written in the 80s. This story was okay. soap opera and they had tons of spin-offs. The live action adaptation did especially well. So when the 2000 anime finally came out, there's evidence of it performing higher than Dragon Ball and even Pokemon at the time with average viewer ratings of 12 to 14 percent. They even dropped Damn. a special episode after the show was concluded. Do they normally do that for shows that bomb? Among other evidence, it became no. unlikely that Ghost Stories actually performed as bad as they made it out to. So where does this idea come from? Well, it kind of all circles back to the one guy I mentioned earlier, Stephen Foster, who changed his name to Stee Sevenen, but I'll keep pronouncing it <laughs> Stephen, as I do not know how to pronounce the seven. Stephen is known for really messing with dubs. Do not let Stephen Foster touch anything else. And I mean <laughs> really messing that's with his- That's such a funny video. That's, that seems so legitimate, like that man's distressed. His dubs. Stephen Foster! Fuck it! And just flips a table and just says, fuck it, desync it about like a half a second. He changes key That's elements great. of the characters. And I want to kill something. The tone. Stop! Please! He lets the voice actor say whatever feels most natural, even if it doesn't fit the lip flaps. I can't enjoy the series when you f***ed up my immersion by f***ing up the dog. He's so known for doing this stuff, it has a name. Fosterizations. Normally one Damn. would reflect and be like, huh, maybe I am changing up the anime too much. Steven loves fosterizations. He even uses the term in his book. He also loves to boast about ghost stories. Twitter bio, I am a legend. His website, four trillion, eight quintillion, chuckle nut trillion people think it's the best dub ever produced. And while on one <laughs> hand it's like, yeah, come on, it was pretty good. On the other, it leads us to this lady's theory. Stephen Foster, the guy who's known for tweaking dubs to his own liking, wanted the freedom of his own dub. He lied about ghost stories performing poorly. He lied to Vic, Monica, Greg, and the entire world to get this dub done. Ah, uh, yeah. 
I don't buy that at all. Few men in history control at such a level. I heard him speak a little on a podcast, and the dude is chill. He's proud of ghost stories, as he should goddamn be. And I think he has right. his dad thing going on where he's not entirely self-aware, so a lot of what he says can be interpreted as snobby over text. He's also mad gay, so he's allowed to make those jokes earlier. I mean, he worked hard. It would be bigoted for me to not laugh at him. What I think is far more... Just like sprinkle, just trying to try to sprinkle some justification Likely in there. Is this. A company called Animax actually did their own English dub way before this one. It was completely normal. Suzuki! Oh god! Oh god! You know what? These dubs are actually quite similar. It's likely that this English dub did perform shittily. So they began talks with ADV. It was common at the time to throw in an anime for free during bulk deals. It makes sense that Ghost Stories, which ADV wasn't charged a licensing fee for, was that free anime. So the middleman in all this is thinking of what to do with this damn show and he realizes there's only one man who can do the dub, Stephen Foster. To their knowledge, there's already been an English dub, the show performed poorly, and there are extremely loose guidelines for localizing. It makes perfect sense that ADV right. would be like, Steven, we need you to do what you do best. Fuck this up for us. And it turned out amazing and the rest is history. Or none of that happened. I, I wasn't there. There's a ton of right, evidence yeah. pointing towards the show doing well in Japan. We can glean parts of Steven personalities and so on but we might never know for sure what happened. If you'd like more information on this topic, I've stolen a lot of points from Mercury Falcon. Check it out. Or cool. check me out. I reply to comments. I make videos about manga, anime, <laughs> whatever this is. Thanks for watching. Okay, dude. All right. This anime has been a part of a lot of compilations that we've seen. This is probably the first comprehensive video we've seen about anything about the history. A lot of marketing in a lot of shows is about lying. Bold face to people's faces, facially. That's just how you do it. Something's not performing well, and you do something to make it perform well, okay? It's not unusual to have that happen. Don't let it ruin your time, especially if it's an amazing product, and you have to cut corners sometimes. And sometimes the true story just doesn't do it. And we're in the entertainment business, baby. Coming from me might sound hilarious because I will tell you a nothing story that is extremely boring and serves no purpose just to fill space because that's just what I do here. But just know the rest of the world is not like that. I'm so happy that anime was made and that people still know about it. We're passing it around. And uh, eventually it'll be like a bedtime story. You tell your children about that one time and nobody's ever going to believe you. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> These anime reviews have been very fun for me to do. I'm going to keep doing them. Y'all have a good books. one. Books? Peace. F books. But I had pictures and I'm like, ooh, boobies. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> we got to react to that next.